What is up, Timothy? <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, when you're seeing this video, you're going to be 30 years old. 2023. It's 2019 right now, so 2023 doesn't seem that far away, but in my head right now, you have hit the big 3-0, dude. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, before I get this video started, I just want to make one thing clear. I'm going to refer to you as you. I'm going to refer to me as me so that there's no confusion. Um, one, obviously, you're probably commenting on the physical look. <laughs> you're not going through a quarter life crisis. You've wanted to do this for years and finally found someone that can do it right. So, congratulations. Uh, man, I cannot wait to see what, what you look like at 30. I hope you're, you've hit 180 pounds already. Jeez, it's been five years up until this point. Another four? Come on. You better be huge. Um, I, I'm making this video for a couple of reasons. First, I want to check in. So, how are you? And I want you to answer these. How are you? Are you happy with the way your career is going? Are you your own boss, your own entrepreneur? Have you opened up your own advertising and production company? Hmm? Hmm? Have you still stuck to being a creative? Are you a dad yet? Because you're 30. I, I, fingers crossed you're not a dad because I hope you remember like I, I right now, don't want kids. I think babies are the most annoying thing on this planet. Cannot stand them crying. So if you're a dad already, what changed? And if you're not a dad, you should probably start trying because we both know the lady wants a child. So <laughs> get on it. Um, are you a model yet? Have you finally summed up the courage to sign a contract? Have you taken acting classes yet? Have you tried doing it on the side? Um, have you traveled to all the places you want to travel to? Have you found yourself a close-knit family that you've created of friends that you can trust with your life? And uh, just in general, are you happy? Mostly with yourself. Because I'm fully aware that your present is in my hands right now. Which is kind of terrifying now that I say it out loud. Oh, it's kind of like when someone tells you someone else's life is in your hands and you have to make the decisions to keep them alive. Ooh. Wow. A little scary knowing that that life is mine. I don't know if I care a little less or I care a little more. For your sake, I hope I care a little more. <laughs> I also want to say congratulations on your feature film. Good job. I want to say congratulations on a successful production company or whatever company you decide to open up that has to do with your strengths. I want to say congratulations on Staying true to yourself because you you better <laughs> don't deviate and um, the other reason why I want to make this video is to keep you in check. Don't give up. I know exactly how you get when you get stressed out and when you get sad. I know that awful place that you go to. Don't. I'm currently working really really hard so that you don't have to go there um 20 right now i'm 26 you know you're probably documenting this you are documenting this uh we're making big changes to our lives personally career wise financially we're making moves and right now i'm excited and i hope it's paid off oh god i hope it's paid off <laughs> Because if you're watching this and you're answering no to all of these, I don't want to make you mad. Uh, really, really don't want to upset you. Because we both know how you get when you're upset. 
Good thing you can't punch me in the face because I'm in the past. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Uh, I hope you are still learning and growing as a person. Starting a family, I know this is about the time we said we would. At least I said I would. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, kind of. No, I'm really sorry. This might be because I'm younger than you are currently and still maybe a little naive because I haven't developed a full pessimistic view of the world. Just do what you want to do. And work hard, man. Work hard. We, I know I procrastinate a lot. But at 30, I hope you don't do that. And if you are and you're watching this and you still procrastinate, you still have that problem, dude, stop. Stop. Since we were kids, people have always told us we were going to be something. We were either going to be stand-up comedians, we were going to be photographers, videographers, we were going to be models, actors, dancers. Then we started bodybuilding. People said we're going to be bodybuilders. Not necessarily something I want to do. But hey, at 30, I don't know. That's it. Taste might have changed. So... If there is something that comes to your mind as soon as I say this, do exactly what you've been wanting to do. If there's a new goal that you've developed and you want to achieve it, man, just do it. And now I know how short and how fast life goes by. Like college was not that long ago. It was only like two years ago. So you're, you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta live life. If you've given up, start up again. It's, it is never too late. And you can hear from thousands of people that say it's never too late to follow your dreams. Dude, they're right. And if you don't listen to them, at least you listen to yourself. You listen to me. I'm at a point in my life where I can do whatever I want. And I'm doing and I'm working towards something I love. Something I've been trying to do for years. And with support, with help, with people like, like around me, around you, you're doing it. And finally, I hope you're happy with everything, at least to a, to a good, sustainable level, with career, with your family, and mostly with yourself, because I'm going to be working on it. But, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> See you in four years, dude. Love you.